today in all of her glory. Regina King is here with us, and it also happens to be her 50th birthday, and she's kind of celebrating with us. Please welcome Regina King. Happy birthday. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Oh, my you. God. This Every year is Regina King's year, but this is a milestone. I, I don't know if you can see it yet, because I'm ready. I've got balloons for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> see, I would want to be with you in person, but I've got your balloons here. The, the, the number oh. says 5-0, oh, but it, clearly my team is lying. <laughs> the <number> says, <laughs> we have a cake for you here. I know you diet. I'll eat it all for you. How does it feel to be 50? I mean, it, it feels like being 49 or 48 or 47 or 22. <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm grateful for the wisdom I've picked up along the way. I'm grateful that I've been able to apply some of it. And, you know, honestly, you know, Tamron, you can relate to this as well. You don't really feel much different uh, as far as physically until, like, you know, you twist your ankle or something like that. Then you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, um, no. this is taking a little bit longer to heal. <laughs> that is true. But you know what? It, I turned 50 in September, um, this past September. And when you look back at your journey and you wonder, like, how am I different? It, it's hard to answer. But, but one thing stays the same. Your work ethic is incredible. You are working on your birthday. I have to tell you, for the past almost 15 years of my life, I have worked every day on my birthday. And I just kind of feel like the universe has really uh, looked after me yeah. all of these years. So, you know, if it's not broke, so don't try to fix it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this up. <laughs> so on my 100th birthday, when, we, when we're talking... And we're that means I'll be 101, because I think, there you go, we'll celebrate it together. Listen, you're featured on the cover of In Style magazine, the February issue, just absolutely stunning. And you said in the interview that you're not compromising your integrity. And when I saw that film, I said to myself, um, what, what does she mean by compromising her integrity? Because for so long, we've seen you take on projects and take on roles that were the best of Hollywood. I can't ever imagine you compromising. Thank you for saying that. First of all, I, I really received that. Um, and, and I'll receive that with grace. Uh, but what I meant by that is, I guess maybe my career has been a reflection of what I meant, that um, I've never been in a place where I felt like I would, I was making a decision, decision that I wouldn't be able to look in the mirror and, you know, love Regina, mm. you know, feel, feel any, feel like, um, Gloria, uh, uh, would be disappointed. And I guess that's what I, I, I meant by that. Yeah, you know, this is the first time you've directed a film. You've directed TV, Insecure, or, you know, just, uh, uh, and, and even This Is Us. I wonder, do you get nervous? I, I mean, you are so comfortable again in your skin, and you just illuminate. Was this something that you were nervous about? Because you were very cagey at the Oscars. I'll tell you about it later. It's I could tell you were protecting it. Yeah, um, I am very much, you know, a lioness when it comes to protecting the pride, you know. Um, but uh, yes, I do get nervous. I get nervous before every single project, whether I'm acting or directing. And I think that it's a good thing. I feel like I would be more concerned if I didn't get nervous because um, when I'm nervous, I know that it means something to me. Yeah. That, that, it, that it is 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 special or precious to me. And I knew when I watched this film that, for obvious reasons, it meant something to you. And I thought, this game-changing actress has, to quote the Barack Obama book, the audacity to take on something like this, because it is an imag reimagine a view of what happened that night. I know Jim Brown has only said they had vanilla ice cream. That's all he will say, but we know that the three other men who were in the room are no longer with us. So this is a view um, of a conversation that no one can verify. That is incredible to take on. Well, you know, it, it, it's, it's interesting because um, 
it, it, it's well, one, an opportunity for a private conversation to happen publicly, mm -hmm. which I think um, it was is important. But Tamara, when you just think about the nights that we spent together in, and you know, whether it was, you, I'm thinking of the night was me, you, Anthony Anderson. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you know, yes. like those, those, we don't really talk about yeah. what we talked about. Yeah. Th those nights, you know, yeah. um, but um, there are very powerful conversations that are happening when we do get together. This is an example of that. And I have to believe that that's the reason why uh, Mr. Brown was always very uh, protective of right. it and never really spoke more on it than the vanilla ice cream because it was a, a sacred night for them. And we're joined by the actor who plays Malcolm X, Kingsley Ben Adir, welcome to the show and congratulations. You just won with the Gotham Film Award Breakthrough Actor. Is this what happens when you hang out with Regina King? Because she just, you know, she just, she just collects them. She, this is, is this a part of that? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Nice to meet you, Tamron. And Regina, happy birthday. Aww. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Kingsley. <laughs> so good to see your face. It's so nice to, to be with you both here today. How does it feel to have this award already in this early in the award season? Oh, do you know, my God, I was so surprised, man. I I hadn't put it to the back of my mind. I had put it out of my mind. I was just, I was so pleased just to be nominated. I'd never been nominated for anything in my life. So when they said my name, I was, I was so thrown. <laughs> And I drank a little bit too much champagne, so it was really gen genuinely the most surprised I've ever think I've ever been in my well, life. Well, after seeing your performance, as they say, get ready to hear your name called a lot this season. But your conversations with Cassius Clay, then Cassius Clay, and as I understand, it was only nine days later that he would become Muhammad Ali, and the impact of his relationship with Malcolm X, the weight and the pressure of that. What did you feel? You know, I, I really connected to Malcolm in this story in a deep way. The first time I read it, it was, you know, my agent said it for cash. And it was just something about the conversation between Malcolm and Sam that really, consciously or subconsciously, I was just so interested in because I was with Sam one second, Malcolm the next, and I've just really engaged in in that conversation. But also there was something about the vulnerability of Malcolm in this mm. story that I really connected with and just thought was such an interesting way in. And I think actually the love and the joy and the friendship between all of them is like at yeah. the center of this piece. But like in just thinking about Malcolm from, you know, my acting point of view, there was something about the vulnerability and the, the stakes of, of the situation Malcolm was in at this time that I just thought was a really interesting look at yeah. his humanity and, you know, and, and an opportunity really to like show, show Malcolm in private and show this kind of fearless and heroic figure in, in, you know, in a sense, in real fear. Yeah. Regina, I have to bring up, I, I saw an interview that you conducted where you interviewed Kingsley and you brought up something that I think the ladies at home who are watching might want me to approach here. You, uh, Kingsley was in High Fidelity with Zoe Kravitz, and you did not know, as I understand, just how many women adored his handsome face and what a, what a popular person he would be once you announced that he was on this project. What was the reaction from the ladies, Regina? I'll let you tell the audience. Uh, they were just basically like, girl, <laughs> you, you got the guy from... High fidelity, and I mean, just honestly, I'm not gonna lie, the entire cast, that's, you know, Gorgeous. I, I, a couple of people, uh, I saw uh, things on social media and people said, leave it to Regina we, uh, for uh, bringing us the eye candy. <laughs> and I was like, well, I was looking at them more as legends, <laughs> but okay, we, we'll take that too. <laughs> well, there you go, Kingsley. Get ready for the awards and more people calling Regina saying, girl, because I know I text her the same thing. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> on all of the success. Happy birthday to the one and only Regina King.